just when you thought they couldn't make a Lethal Weapon movie any bigger, along comes part three of this trilogy and blows that theory right off the ground. Veteran Lethal Weapon star Danny Glover says this time around, they added some extras to an already successful formula. Alex Haley would always say, uh, find the good and praise it, you know? <laughs> so we, we find the good and use it again. There's more of everything in part three. There's more laughs, more action, more Joe Pesci, and oh yes, something different. More women, and they don't mess around. You have to have that new blood, you know, and, and inject that into the, into the old scenario. Otherwise, and, and that makes it work much better, I think. Rene Russo is the new blood that infuses the old story. This time, it's good cop versus bad cop. She becomes part of the crew and particularly buddy-buddy with Gibson. Riggs has met his match, scar for scar and blow for blow, when cop Lorna Cole joins the team. I don't know, I want you to see something. Oh, she has a gift. Watch this. You okay, honey? She's great! This real-life cover girl felt right at home in her first macho role. But as we work together, I realized, wait a minute, this is me. This is who I am. This is like, this is easy for me. And the opposite is true for Joe Pesci, who reprises his role of the pesky Leo Getz, who works everybody's last nerve, including Pesci's himself. Leo doesn't just drain everybody around him on the, on the, uh, on the stage. I mean, he drains me when I'm done. I just, Ugh. But Leo is a great comic relief in a movie that's brimming with violence. And although there's a good anti-drug message in the rubble, it's the action that carries the film.